Good morning. This is Monday, April the 15th, and it's tax day. If you haven't done your taxes yet, you just have until midnight tonight. So, Monday, April the 15th, and this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for um, Jim Lakey, and this is Cable Channel 3, and you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Um, this morning's weather, it's cloudy outside, it's right at 50 degrees, it feels more like 41, 44 because there's a bit of a wind going, and um, the high today should be right at 63. Tomorrow it promises to be also cloudy, um, with the low starting off in the low at 41, with a high at 52. And Wednesday, seems like we should have some morning showers with a low of 33 and a high of 59. And Thursday, partly cloudy, windy again, a low of 26 and a high of 46. We have a happy birthday today. Um, April the 15th, and that goes out to George Castney. Happy birthday, George. Hope you have a great day. Probably finishing off with your taxes. Um, well, community activities. This evening, um, the Ida Long Memorial Library has its Bridges to Learn in Preschool program. And it's going to be a lot of fun activities that will be sure to have your preschoolers yearning for learning. So this afternoon at 6.30 at the Ida Long Memorial Library, all families with preschool children age are invited to attend the family affair. And as you know, it, m it makes a difference when the children have good foundations in learning. And so these programs are designed to support early learning literacy. Early learning reading skills are crucial for our children to be ready for school. So don't forget to support the Ida Long Library this afternoon. On a Saturday morning coming up, um, there will be a free child care car seat check. And um, that's been put on by the Kansas Highway Patrol, the St. John Fire Department, the Stafford County EMS, and the Stafford County Health Department. And certified technicians are there to check the car seats for the um, children to make sure the car seats have the expiration date intact. And um, some car seats have, um, they are installed incorrectly and they have to be recalled. So they'll be doing a lot of checking on that. And also if any family needs a, a car seat, they will have a free car seat that you the families can have so do come out on Saturday morning at 9 30 to 12 30 and have the free child care car seat check and um, looking at our menus for today the Maxfield C Senior Center has Swiss steak with tomato sauce and baked potatoes Carrots with strawberries for dessert. And tomorrow they, there's roast beef on the menu with gravy and parsley potatoes and steamed cabbage with muffins and applesauce. And on Wednesday there should be Huntington chicken, corn, winter mix vegetables, and lemon bars. Sounds very enticing. And at the Sandyland Center, we have on the menu for tomorrow creamy mashed potatoes, green beans, beef chowder, strawberry orange salad, and poppy seed cake. And Wednesday, beef stroganoff and seasoned noodles and buttered mixed vegetables served with crunchy vegetable salad and a sherbet to go with that. We want to invite you to the Taste and See Coffee House. It is now open in Stafford and they will be serving specialty coffees, 100% um, fruit smoothies, blended ice treats, Italian sodas 
And the Taste and See Coffee House is a non-profit business. It's owned by the Lovely Branches Ministries. And they're an independent 501c3 non-denominational non Christian ministry. And all of the proceeds from this coffee house will go towards local, state, and world missions. So if you're in Stafford or even drive out to Stafford to support the Taste and See Coffee House, it's now open. And while they're in Stafford also, go to the Mercantile, um, the Stafford Mercantile, and they have specials usually. On Monday, they have a buy one single dip cone, get one free Tuesday hot fudge, hot fudge Sunday, and Wednesday ice cream sodas. And there even uh, is a free coffee from 9 to 11 every Saturday. So do support the Stafford Mercantile also. And our thought for today, we are morally responsible for every wrong which we have the power to prevent. We are morally responsible for every wrong that we have the power to prevent. Good thought for the day. Thank you.